Snowflake GUI graphical user interface is a straightforward process that allows you to run SQL queries and interact with your data. Here's how you can create a worksheet and rename it. Creating a worksheet. Log into Snowflake. Access the Snowflake web interface by logging into your Snowflake account. Navigate to Worksheets. In current version, it's a default page. In the left sidebar, you'll find a menu. Click on Worksheet section. You can see a list of existing worksheets if any. To create a new worksheet, click the New Worksheet button, top right corner edition button then SQL Worksheet, choose based on requirement. Write and execute SQL. In the newly opened worksheet, you'll find an SQL editor where you can write your SQL queries. Write your query and click the Run button, usually represented by a play icon, to execute the query. Renaming a worksheet You'll see tabs representing each open worksheet. The default name for a new worksheet is often created date time or similar. To rename the worksheet, click on More option on the right corner of the tab. From the context menu, select the option to rename the worksheet. This will allow you to edit the existing name. To confirm the name, press Enter or click outside the renamed area to confirm the new name for the worksheet. The tab should now display the new name you entered. Select the database and schema. Choose the database and schema you want to work with from the list of available databases and schemas. Note, keep in mind that specific features and layout might vary slightly depending on updates and the version of the Snowflake user interface you are using. The steps provided should be generally applicable to most versions of Snowflake's web interface. Remember that worksheets are useful for running queries and interacting with your data, but they are typically not meant for long-term storage of queries or results. For more organized storage and sharing of SQL scripts and results, please follow my videos. Please subscribe the channel for more videos.